right guys uh this is prak with iRepairMD today we'll be looking at a ipod nano seventh generation and the problem with this particular one is that the, um, the customer she was running and she dropped it and so it landed this way the power button is stuck and it looks like she tried to actually stick a needle and try to free it um jamming it even more so what i want to show you today is how to take the ipod nano out the right way okay what you need to do is go to the bottom okay so now apply some heat Now, what you do is with the razor blade, carefully lift this up. Now pull it out of the way. Okay. You wanna, don't want to damage the Wi-Fi antenna flex cable over here. So you see the little adhesive right here. I'm going to run this right here to free this adhesive. Okay, and this is the Bluetooth antenna. So you can go ahead and pull it out of the way. So what you want now is using the Phillips screwdriver. Okay. Go ahead and remove this screw out. Okay. The screwdriver is out. Okay, I'm just going to peel this off carefully. Peel the lid off. Okay, so now go ahead and pull this back. And you see two Phillips screwdriver right here. So now, two Phillips screw. The Phillips screwdriver, you go ahead and take the screw out. Okay. Now that is taken out. What you want to do now is lift this up. Okay. The best way to lift this up. What I'm going to do is use is heat because it's similar to the um, iPod now. This screen is actually being held together with, with adhesive. So we're going to add apply heat right over here around it. And then we're going to stick a pry tool to lift the glass up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some heat. Actually, so now the heat is actually heating, uh, it's loosening up this glue. All right, so what you need to do is pry, get underneath, and then similar to the iPhone 5, just pry this off gently. Okay. So you have two layers you got the LCD and the glass. What I did earlier was remove the glass out of the way, exposing the LCD. So now I'm removing the LCD, picking it up slowly, just glue holding it. So what you're doing is just cutting the glue, the adhesive, slowly pulling it out of the way. Okay. So now you expose the whole unit. All right, so now back here, you got, try to zoom in for you guys. So you got these right here. All right, so what you wanna do 
is safely pried out of the way. Safe pry tool, just pull it out. Okay. Yeah, well, sometimes the safe pry tool does not get it, so you carefully with a razor take it to the edge, flip it open. Okay. And so now, as you can see, the battery is right behind the LCD and the touch screens on top. Okay. So what I'm fixing is this power button right here. This is what I need to get to. Alright, so I need my Phillips screwdriver. Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to go ahead and remove this and try to free the power button. Okay. So we'll go ahead. Read the power button. All right, with the power button back on and testing, testing touch works. So now what you want to do is put that back in and I have adhesive tip right here putting it on my glass this is a tacky adhesive similar to what Apple use uh, this is M3 formula 77 and I'm just dabbing it in here. Now I'll go ahead and fasten this back in, putting it on evenly. There you go. I can hear my five months old in the background. Alright, so okay, so now with all that done, screw fasten. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little tacky glue right here, front and back, and put this cap in place right here, bottom cap. And now, okay, as you can see, the power button now works, okay, and the home button, all right, there you go. Perfect, brand new. Okay. So, this is IMD tutorial on the iPod Nano 7 Touch Power Display uh, Power Button Repair. You guys, have a good night. See you next week. Um, next week, I'm definitely gonna show you guys my uh, gravity gel I